What's going on everybody? Welcome to this year's Retrocon video, Retrocon 2023. The wife is trying to get in the car right now. <laughs> oh man, we are just getting ready to go to day one. It's kind of rainy, so I hope it's not a hope it's not gonna interfere with anything. I don't really feel like standing in line in the rain. For this year, I'm not looking to go off any list. I'm not really worried about budget because I've noticed in past past shows, whenever I do that. I never find what I want. So I figure I'll just wing it and we'll see what happens, right? You don't want anything, right? Not looking for anything? No. Okay. But we are going to get going. Uh, we're only about 10 minutes away, just like our normal hotel. So we'll see you when we get there and Retrocon 2023. Let's see what we can find. Right into my boy JMC Collects. Link down below wow. on the YouTubes. We just did a little bit of a uh, shady business deal in the parking lot, just like I did with JB's Toy Trunk. Cause that's my thing, like to buy toys from people in the parking lot. First time here, right? First time to this show, yeah. Yeah. I've been to this, for a Monster Mania Con, I've been to this hall. Now I did go through a little bit of the show already and there's a lot of stuff in here. I've already made a few small purchases. We'll get to in a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna go back in and look around and hopefully not go too broke, right? Not too broke. And here we go, RetroCon 2023. Let's do this. So we're going to start this video off the right way and we are going to see what kind of new stuff Damien's got over here at the Deep Lake Snake First time RetroCon for him. So got those awesome bendy chains, some new signs he's been working on. So these are brand new, he just got these, started doing these recently. These weathered Walking Dead signs, I think they turned out really, really nice. I think he's asking a little bit more for these because of all the work that went into it. But if you are still collecting Walking Dead or if you have a Walking Dead collection, you want a nice sign to display it with, that's the, the sign you want. <laughs> I've never noticed a Predator sign. That's cool. Of course, we got all the Mortal Kombat. Cannot bring the Mortal Kombat stuff. And his display for the Fatality is the one, the only Kentaro. You got a little Wolverine action. Some stickers, some hand sanitizer. Very important at conventions, boys and girls. Very important. And as usual, I'm going to link him down below. Yeah. And you guys can follow him on Instagram and hit him up to make purchase. Well, next time I see him, I'm going to have a back for you. And I know he's going to leave. I say, oh, please, fuck him. How are you guys doing? I know you gave him that bag. Dude, when are you going to see him? When are you going to see him? I'm like, will you calm down? Dude, I'll get your fix. Relax. That's great. Yeah, if, you, if you've got people that want orders, I'll let you know. If you're going to see me, yeah. let me know. Yeah. I'll buy more. Oh, Ooh, there's a new one right here. This last Ronin. I was gonna, I was gonna try to maybe do. Yeah, that's awesome. I was gonna try to do um, a Wayne show in October. With the move and everything. And I've got toy. Oh, are you gonna New York Comic Con? I have tickets for Thursday and Friday. I Friday. So I'm not even through one aisle, and I've already found some monster for us here. We have Frankenstein, and then we have Doc. Crowley, both in very good condition, 25 a piece on them. They have like that cardboard figures of skeletal remain. Do they really? Bucks. Like standees? Yeah. Where's Except that at? They don't stand up though, you just put them, tack them on the wall. Oh really? Mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't see those. You are going to get on your way out. You should. Damn, I can't believe how much Skeleton Warriors has jumped up in price. Where's the demand for these figures? I don't see it. I don't know. You have them though, don't you? I have them all, yeah. yeah. It's nice seeing them though. Yeah. They look beautiful on cards. That uh, action toy man here does it too. Does he? Yeah. Yeah, they're going up, man. I don't know why. I don't see anybody really screaming for them. I don't see no. anybody doing any reissues or nothing.
coming over to visit the Big Kids Mega Booth. And a little bit different than what they had last year, but still pretty much the same, same layout. Eight spots like usual. So go ahead and do a little, little tour. I still want this sheet. Let's see if Mike's gonna give me that. Because he loves me so much. There he is. Big Kid hey, Mike. Buddy. Mike, I want that Power Ranger sheet. I can have it, right? I'm gonna take these instead. You can have both, kid. I'm good. I appreciate it, though. How's it going today? It's going. It's going. Nice. Believe it or not, the better start for today than yesterday. Really? It's packed out there in the parking lot. Yesterday was good, but the, you know, we're all the way in the back, too. So I felt like it took forever for everybody to get here. 20 bucks. It's got the thermos in it, too. This piggy. I got another one. I got two of them. Air Bears. That's the Filmation Ghostbusters now. And Filmation Ghostbusters, which wasn't Filmation at the time, but somebody else owned Ghostbusters, and that's why they almost called Ghostbusters Ghostbreakers and a couple mm. other things. Uh, and if you turn around, there's a poster over there. That's the poster. The Filmation Ghostbusters are doing the check out this foam work that they have at the big kid booth so this is another friend of theirs that's setting up with them it's from wolf foam smithing brian wolf so if you guys need any costume pieces made check this guy out uh, i'll link that down below as well i'm gonna take one of these cards this freddy fazbear right here is like really well done i'm liking this a lot I wonder how much he wants for it is there a price on the side here that is 125 for that. Then you got 40 on on the mask. The Groot. I don't think the Groot has. Oh, Groot's 30. The Ninja Stars are five dollars. More stuff over here. Boogie Boogie Dice. Oh, they glow in the dark. That's actually really cool. 35 on that. Check that out. That's actually really, really well done. Very nicely detail there attention to detail is really good but yeah i'm gonna link them down below as well you guys can check them out like i said if you're a cosplayer or you need any costume pieces made be sure to follow them and hit them up if you need anything
And we have a whole line of Toxic Crusaders in this case as well. But before we leave the Big Kid booth, I wanted to show you guys this. So the weekend of Halloween, so Saturday, October 28th, at the New Egypt Flea Market Village, they're having their Big Kid Monster Mashup Toy Show. So I believe, Mike, this is going on with the um, Moonlit Market, right? Same day? Yep, yep. So it's two events? Yep. All right. So it's a free event. You guys come out. Toys, video games, everything, right? Yep. VHS. Yep. Costume uh, contest. Free VHS. Costume contest with cash prizes. Cash prizes. Can I dress up? Yeah. I'm dressing up then. Encouraging everyone to dress up. Yes, everybody come dress up. I'm gonna link Big Kids down below, like always. Make sure yes. you guys give them a follow so you can stay up to date on all future toy shows. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get down there in a second. Entire, yeah, with the weapons that are in the Wow. Room. This is what, 800? Yeah. Wow. This one here is well in That's full case? Yeah, I saw that. It's awful. It's in very good shape, too, that one. Yeah. Mm. Even these ones are very clean. They're in very good condition. That one's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Wow. 
look at that. <laughs> That's incredible. All baggied up too, look at that. And just like that one, they're all in very good condition, very oh, clean, yeah. very yeah, nice. They picked through all of them. We have like six or eight cases, and we took out the best one and put them in these cases. Put the best one in each one, yeah. yeah. Best way to do it. Well, when you're selling the whole case, you know. Yeah. All of wave two. From here, I think I need to make the best. Uh, wave three is out. It's got Minya in it. I don't remember you ever getting that one. Yeah, I don't think I have a Mecha Betsa. It's beat up too. Yeah. This sold out on their website right away. Everybody likes Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, let's see if we can find one. So one thing I'm on the there he is. He is complete. Twenty five. Does he look like he's in good shape? He does. He's clean, right? Yeah. I know. I'll check it out first. Yeah, I think so. Let's see what other ones they have. See this stuff. No. You don't. You don't. Any of this. You don't see any of this. I feel like every time I come to RetroCon, I keep saying that like, you don't see certain things every day. Yeah. No. Once upon a time you did. Now you can't. Chuck Norris Karate Commando. You see that? Yeah. The Star Skin Hutch dolls are cool. The set right there. That Conan. Look at that Conan. Damn. 60 bucks is in really good shape. Yeah. You still make this bubble. The other ones you notice are off the car. Yeah, they are. They have their car, but they're just off It's Fonzie. A. This too. Look at that. 30 bucks for the Freddy Gloves. Like Found another case of vintage Star Wars figures. I wanted that TIE pilot, but he doesn't have his gun. Darth Vader here for 55 is in very, very good condition. I actually am thinking about getting that. I'm not sure yet. If not, I'm sure I'll, I'll see it again. So before we wrap up this video, before we wrap up this weekend, I have to get Big Dog in this video. I gotta show off his booth. I have to show him off because he gets mad at me. He gets very mad at me when I don't show him. There, oh, what is that? Let me get it right here. For me, let me just slide that $100 bill out right there. Come on now. 
Damn, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Just relax my baby. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit. There you go. Hey, get it in there. There you Check go. Check it out. Watch down here. Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. It works. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, hang on. Let me get that out of your, out of your beard. There you go. How you doing, buddy? Good, good, biggies. I had to get you in here. Man. And you, you, you get mad at me or I'll put you in my I video. Did okay today. You did good? Yeah. It's good. See what kind of stuff you got up in. You still have that sewer hockey. Yeah. Do you have two of these or just only one? Yeah, it's only one. Alright, you brought that from the booth then, right? Yeah, I brought from the booth. Yeah, I will. I ain't shit in my booth right now. Really? What, are you almost empty your entire booth just to do the show? Not, well, yeah, can't find it. <laughs> That's gonna be my challenge now with the booth trying to do shows. Like, what am I gonna bring? Now I'm trying to do another booth, so. That might be harder to try to do shows now, too, you know? We'll see. Yeah. Just didn't do it? Well, here's the thing. It's a very bad thing for my place. Really? Then I was over there, he left. Oh, the guys that are over there? They're free stuff. They're free. Free. They took it? Oh, I took it? No, he put free because he was leaving it. The guy next to me. Right. The guy next to him saw the bride. Oh man. Yeah, I know. I was looking at both of those. Man, big dog always with the uh, always with the huge booth over here. Three spots, I think he gets. Look at that. Two fifty on that one, and again, like usual, I'll link Big Dog down below. Oh, hang on, scroll a moment. Oh, Extreme Dinos. I gotta see how much he wants for that. But uh, I'll link him down below like usual, and if you guys see anything, just hit him up, or come see him at the Shoreline Vintage Antique Mall, which we're gonna hopefully go back there pretty soon because like I said I want to do a better tour of his booth and pick up that Arco Disney uh, toy that he had if you guys remember from the Richland Toy Show which if you haven't seen that video check it out it's pretty good it's alright I think it could have been better but that's just me I'm always overly critical on my videos how'd you do on that Power Ranger buyout that you did I saw somebody leaving with two big pieces from you yesterday Okay. Oh, wow. That's cool. What'd you say to me? What'd you say to me? Yes, I'm always playing with toys. I'm a what? I'm a penis. What'd you say? No, that's close enough. <laughs> That's what I thought he said. He's a pain in the ass. Oh, I am a pain in the ass. I'm a pain in the ass with everybody. Uh. Hey, that's some bootleg Power Rangers. Century, there you go, man. Come to, come get these boys. Seven bucks. Some gloves. And running out the booth with more Power Rangers. But we're not done yet. No, oh, no, we're not done. Bins of loose figures here. Turn around, more loose figures. Tons of loose figures. Gargoyles. This is on. This is free because he loves me. That's why. And that's gonna do it for Big Dog's booth. Oh, he's got that right there. Oh, there he is. Big Dog, tell him again, where can we find you? YouTube, Big Dog's Toy Chest, check me out. Link down below. And Shoreline Vintage. Shoreline Vintage, We're coming back, you're gonna take me through your booth again. Yes, we are.
Okay, everyone, so we're back from RetroCon. We are going to end the video here. We will do the haul portion in a separate video, only because this video is already kind of long. In that video, we will go over the haul, of course. Uh, my thoughts on the show, because RetroCon moved to the other side of the building. They're not in Hall C anymore. They are now in Hall A. And uh, for the most part, it worked. I will say that it definitely worked. It was still a good show. I did miss not setting up and selling this year. You know, it was nice to have the freedom to walk around, not really feel like I was responsible for anything, but ultimately walking around and seeing like friends setting up and, you know, I had to help a friend or two uh, a couple times uh, this weekend just sucked because I was like, wow, I wish I was the one that was setting up too. So next year, we probably are going to get back to doing that. Down below, you'll find links to everybody that we interacted with over the weekend. I got Mike down there from the big kid store. Mike's Toy Chest, The Blake Makes should be down there. I want to thank you all for taking the time to check out this video. Leave some likes and comments down below. Make sure you share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy toy hunting videos and toy show videos. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Like always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.